Hi. Welcome to Inference. This is the place where you learn and improve. In this video, I will be talking about the use of sign language by monkeys. Monkeys have long captured the attention and curiosity of humans. These fascinating creatures, with their dexterous hands and expressive faces, possess many remarkable abilities that have impressed scientists and animal lovers alike. One question that has been pondered for decades is whether monkeys are capable of using sign language to communicate with humans or with each other. Sign language is a complex and sophisticated mode of communication that requires the use of hand gestures, facial expressions, and body language to convey meaning. It is typically associated with humans, who use it as a primary means of communication in deaf communities, and also as a tool for teaching language to young children. But could monkeys also learn to use sign language? This question has been explored in several groundbreaking studies over the years, with fascinating results. Researchers have taught various species of monkeys, including chimpanzees, orangutans, and bonobos, to communicate using a form of sign language. One of the most famous examples is the chimpanzee named Washo, who was taught American Sign Language ASL, in the 1960s. Over time, she was able to learn hundreds of signs and use them to communicate with her trainers. Other primates, such as Coco the gorilla and Chantek the orangutan, have also learned to use sign language, language to communicate with humans. Despite these successes, the question of whether monkeys can use sign language remains somewhat controversial. Some experts argue that while monkeys can learn to use signs, their communication is not the true language, as it lacks certain key features, such as grammar and syntax. However, even if monkeys cannot use sign language in the same way that humans do, their ability to learn and use it demonstrates their remarkable intelligence and social skills. Furthermore, studies have shown that monkeys use a variety of other communication methods, including vocalizations, facial expressions, and body language, to interact with each other and their environment. In this video, we will explore the fascinating world of monkey communication, discussing the research that has been done on sign language use among primates and examining the broader implications of their abilities. So, can monkeys use sign language? Let's find out! The idea of teaching sign language to primates has been around for over a century, but it wasn't until the 1960s that a groundbreaking experiment was conducted with a chimpanzee named Washo. The project was led by doctors Allen and Beatrix Gardner, who wanted to investigate whether chimpanzees were capable of learning human language. Over several years, Washo was taught over 350 signs of American Sign Language, including words for food, toys, and emotions. She was able to combine these signs in unique ways to convey meaning and even create new words. Washo was also able to teach her adopted son, Lulis, some signs, demonstrating that sign language could be passed down from one generation, generation to the next. Washo's success sparked a wave of research into sign language use among primates, with many other studies following in its wake. Other chimpanzees, such as Nim Chimsky, were also taught sign language, as were orangutans, bonobos, and other primates. However, the teaching of sign language to primates has also been controversial. Some critics have argued that the use of sign language with animals is unethical, as it may lead to them being treated as objects rather than living beings. Others have raised concerns about the validity of the research, arguing that the use of sign language may not accurately reflect the way that primates communicate with each other in the wild. Despite these concerns, the teaching of sign language to primates remains a significant area of research in the field of animal behavior. The groundbreaking work done with Washo and other primates has opened up new avenues of investigation into the cognitive abilities of these animals and their potential for communication with humans. Over the years, many studies have been conducted to investigate the ability of primates to learn and use sign language. These studies have produced some fascinating findings, shedding light on the cognitive abilities and communication skills of these remarkable animals. One of the most famous examples is Coco the gorilla, who was taught a modified version of ASL by Dr. Francine Patterson. Coco was able to learn over 1,000 signs and use them to communicate with her trainers and other humans. She was able to express her desires and emotions, as well as understand complex sentences and even joke with her trainers. Other primates, such as Washo, Nim Chimpsky, and Chantek the orangutan, also demonstrated the ability to learn and use sign language to communicate with humans. Some primates were even able to combine signs to create new words and express abstract concepts. However, the extent to which primates can use sign language as a true form of language remains a subject of debate among experts. Some researchers argue that while primates can learn and use individual signs, they are unable to use grammar and syntax to create complex sentences and convey abstract ideas. Others believe that the use of sign language by primates is evidence of their capacity for language and demonstrates that they possess cognitive abilities similar to those of humans. Regardless of this debate, the research on sign language use among primates has revealed much about their cognitive abilities and communication skills. It has shown that these animals are capable of learning and using complex communication systems and that they possess a rich social and emotional life that is not always visible to the human eye.
Furthermore, the study of sign language use among primates has important implications for our understanding of animal cognition and our relationship with other species. It challenges us to rethink the boundaries between humans and animals, and to recognize the intelligence and emotional complexity of other living beings. While the teaching of sign language to primates has received much attention, it's worth noting that primates also have their natural forms of communication, which involve a variety of vocalizations, facial expressions, and body language. In the wild, primates use a wide range of gestures and vocalizations to communicate with each other. For example, chimpanzees may use a certain type of scream to alert others to the presence of a predator, while gorillas may beat their chests to signal their strength and dominance. Researchers have also observed that primates use gestures to communicate with humans in captivity. These gestures can range from simple actions, such as pointing or reaching, to more complex gestures, such as using a stick to indicate a desired object. Interestingly, these gestures may differ depending on the context in which they are used. For example, a chimpanzee in the wild may use a particular gesture to indicate the location of food, while the same chimpanzee in captivity may use the same gesture to request food from a human. These observations suggest that primates are capable of adapting their communication to suit their environment and the individuals they are communicating with. They also raise questions about the relationship between natural and learned forms of communication in these animals. While much of the research on primate communication has focused on language-like systems such as sign language, it's important to remember that these animals have their own rich and complex forms of communication, which are shaped by their social and environmental contexts. Understanding these forms of communication is crucial to gaining a fuller understanding of these animals' lives and behaviors. In addition to gestural communication, primates have also been observed using tools for communication purposes. For example, chimpanzees have been observed using sticks to point at objects or to request food from humans. Similarly, orangutans have been observed using leaves or pieces of paper to cover their faces or other body parts, which may serve as a form of communication. It's thought that this behavior may be used to signal a desire for privacy or to indicate social status. Other primates, such as baboons and macaques, have been observed using vocalizations to communicate about the presence of predators or other threats. They may use alarm calls or other vocalizations to alert members of their group to the danger, allowing them to take evasive action. These observations highlight the versatility of primate communication and their ability to adapt to different contexts and situations. They also raise interesting questions about the origins of tool use in primates and the role that it may play in their communication and social behavior. Overall, the use of tools for communication by primates is just one example of the complex and fascinating behaviors that these animals exhibit. Understanding these behaviors and their underlying cognitive and social processes is key to gaining a deeper appreciation for the richness and complexity of primate life. The study of primate communication is important for several reasons. First, it can provide insight into the evolutionary origins of human language and communication. By studying the communication systems of our closest primate relatives, we can gain a better understanding of how language and communication may have developed in humans over time. We can also better understand the cognitive and neural processes that underlie these systems. Second, studying primate communication can help us better understand the social behavior and relationships of these animals. Communication is a key part of social interactions and relationships, and by studying primate communication, we can gain insight into the complex social structures of primate groups. Finally, understanding primate communication is important for conservation efforts. Many primate species are endangered or threatened due to habitat loss, hunting, and other human activities. By understanding how these animals communicate and interact with each other, we can better protect them and their habitats. In conclusion, the question of whether monkeys can use sign language is a complex and fascinating one. While some studies have suggested that certain primates are capable of learning and using sign language, others have questioned the extent to which these animals truly understand the language they are using. Regardless of the answer to this question, it's clear that primates have their own rich and complex forms of communication, which are shaped by their social and environmental contexts. From gestural communication to tool use, these animals exhibit a wide range of communication behaviors that are both fascinating and important to study. By studying primate communication, we can gain insights into the evolutionary origins of human language and communication, the social behavior and relationships of these animals, and the conservation needs of endangered primate species. Ultimately, the study of primate communication reminds us of the incredible diversity of life on Earth and the many ways in which animals have adapted to their environments and evolved unique ways of communicating with each other. By continuing to study and appreciate these fascinating animals, we can better understand our place in the natural world and work to protect the biodiversity that makes our planet so vibrant. Alright, folks, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about the use of sign language by monkeys. If you enjoyed it, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.